and in this video we will be assembling the Santa pop-up card. So I've got all my pieces laid out and we're going to start with the base. And what you want to do is make sure you fold all of these creases before we start gluing some of um, the base into place so that you can make sure that you're able to fold everything. Um, so we'll just start by folding these down. If you've made one of my pop-up cards before, the space is exactly the same. You'll notice there's two score lines here and you want to fold the closest one to the squares down. And then you want to fold this up. This is going to create a lip. We're going to glue this down that way. And then this tap, top tab, you fold towards you. <clears throat> so fold up, fold back, and then fold that up. These are, both these top and bottom are going to fold down. It's going to create, I don't even know what to call that. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do the same thing top and bottom. Okay, and then before I glue those down, these pieces here with the slits, this is the top. So before I glue those down, I'm going to put my panels on, and I decided on a brick pattern since this was a Santa to make it seem like it's a chimney. <clears throat> I think I want to stay with the brick. The Santa heads are cute too. I had a moment of doubt which one I wanted to use, but I do want to stick with the brick, I think. So there is a slight border. So you just want to just eye that the best you can. There you go, put those on. Uh, the file also comes with some bigger snowflakes for putting on the panels if you want. I'm not gonna use them because they blend in too much with the pattern that I'm using. But if you wanted to use solid colors, then you would have those to decorate your sides. The file has three for every other panel, but if you wanted them on every one, just cut six. So this, is, this will just take a few minutes to get done. Let's get this move along quickly here. Oh, this is going to look cute. This is going to look like a chimney. Now this Santa is just a Santa head. Um, I like that this style of card gives me the ability to have something big in the center. You can have you know something big so I wanted, as I was looking at the Santa, I thought I really liked his face. It's really cute. So instead of making a whole Santa where he would have to be small, I decided on making the bigger Santa head to really focus on that. Okay. So now that we have the panels on, I'm going to flip it over to the inside of the card. Glue this, put glue on this quarter inch space here on all four of them. You're just going to glue these down. Hold it for a second so you know it's going to stick. And do all four of these. After you glue these down, you're going to set this aside and let this just dry really well. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to let that dry. 
we're going to come here to the Santa head. So just like my other pop-up cards, there, the piece with the tab, there's one for the back slat and one for the front. And this is just to double this up, um, give it a little extra stability so that the card stands up good. Okay, so we're only working with the one. Let's just build our face here first. I tried to keep the pieces as big as I could. The eyes, um, that has your smallest pieces. And I just, I wanted them to have some detailed eyes. So, you know, those are just gonna be, that's gonna be your smallest piece to work with. Let's put this on to start. And here we're just going to do some paper piecing. And this hat goes on. Just line that up. And his, his face just kind of fits into this curve you have here. And then his, his hat fur will be covering that. Okay, so we're just going to slide this into that curve. Pull out some of my foam squares. I want to pop some of these pieces. <clears throat> I just blended right in. Thought I lost it. So these are my foam squares I got at the dollar store. This particular pack is in the hardware section. I threw the packaging away, so I don't even, I don't remember how many foam squares you get, but it's, it's a lot. This is, and then we're just going to place this on, just line it up with this, my mat keeps shifting. I'm trying to flatten my daughter's picture under my mat, so it keeps shifting on her picture. Let me get it out of here. So let's put these down. Okay. There we are. And I'm going to build his eyes before I stick them on. I want to see where everything goes before I start gluing it all down. My Santa has blue eyes. You can make the, yours any color you'd like. And I guess you could skip the pupil if he didn't want to deal with this small piece. He doesn't have to have a pupil. I like to lay my eyes out first. They change the look of the whole face, so I... I like to take a little bit of time and adjust the facial features 
before I glue them down. So when you have a face that you like, then just glue your pieces down. I think I like that. If you heard the singing, that was my husband. He's always happy as he goes out the door. He loves running errands. <laughs> and now the other eye. Now you can do some inking here on the, on the fur and his mustache if you'd like. That could really add some some dimension to it. He does have a red tongue. So you'll want to put this on before you put his mustache on. I'm going to also pop his mustache. I wanted to have his face, uh, wanted his face to have some dimension because um, it's the focal point of the card. And so that's why I'm using my pop dots, popping stuff up. I might even put one here on his nose. I'll see what that looks like. I've got some little, Um, circles under my desk. Let's see. Hopefully this doesn't look silly. I'll just pick it off if I don't like it. But I might have to pick that off. Let's see. Yeah. I don't think Santa looks good with a big nose, so let me pull this off. I did not like that effect, so let's not do that. Let's just glue it on. I don't have a piece of the foam right there in the center, so I'm having, I just have to that on. There we go. And there's our Santa face. He also has a pair of glasses. And what I'm going to do is put 
just a little bit of glue here at the bottom and I'm going to glue them right here to the edge of his mustache so that they're not flat on his face. And just be careful when you lay them down. Don't bend them forward and see that way you get a little bit of dimension with those glasses there. Okay, I also have a snowflake for his, for the ball of his hat. This I am going to pop. There we are. So there's our Santa face. So let's get the card put together. <clears throat> oh, well, we can put together our sign first. Let's just take a minute and do this real quick. You can stamp any greeting you would like on this little sign, which I'm also going to pop. There we go. Okay. Now for the base. So the one with the two slits, this is the front. This will wrap around. This will be your front. And this is your back. So your front Santa goes in like this. So you're going to be working backwards when you come over here. And you want to push them down flush. And then you want to fold this up. Okay. Now right under this tab, you want to put glue just on the red, and you want to glue this flap down, okay? And here at the bottom, again, just put glue on the red, and then glue this flap down, okay? And we should have put the sign in first. So you want to fold, fold your sign, I'm always getting ahead of myself every time I craft, it doesn't matter what I'm making. I'm just going to try to lift this off real quick so that I can work under here. Okay, I'm just going to take the the front of it off. Just the bottom. Just so I can lift this up and see. So I have folded this down. So put glue on that tab and fold it up and glue that down in place. Kind of like how the box cards work except you're gluing things to the top and bottom instead of the sides of your card. And then I'm going to re-glue this. Get this back in place. So that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Okay, so you want to make sure when you do this side that you put this in correctly. So you want this facing this way. And you want it flush. And go ahead and put glue here at the bottom. And lift it up. I'm recording. And so, instead of gluing this tab here now, I, well, he doesn't move. So I am going to put a little bit of glue here. Since he doesn't shift around at all, I'm just going to leave him. And we're going to close the card and you're going to glue your Santa heads together, okay? So 
put glue on this whole thing. On the red tab, put it on just these tabs that fold up because you're going to glue those two tabs together. This a little bit thicker so it'll work with me when I'm gluing. Okay, now let's bring this around. And the first thing I would do is bring your bottom together and make sure you get a good seal here. And then go to your center tab and this middle one here that you really can't see, you really want to get that pushed down. And then adhere your Santa together. You got to kind of work around um, the ball of his hat. You got to get your pieces back behind it and then glue your tab shut here. You can kind of see in here peeking inside everything is glued together now this center tab this is what pulls your card middle up and down if you don't have those glue if the glue in the places I showed you your card won't uh, open and close the way that it should and there you have our Santa pop-up card. Thank you for joining me.